back to another sewing tutorial. My name is Anne Sophie and I'm the person behind Sewing with Solana and today I'm going to teach you how to make the Alicia blouse. The Alicia blouse is actually quite similar to the Piper top that I'm wearing right now but there's a few differences and the main difference is that the Alicia blouse comes with long sleeves and it's also a bit easier to make because the Piper top has a back piece, side piece and a front piece which makes the finished piece of clothing hug our bodies a bit more and the Alicia blouse only has a back piece and a front piece which makes it a nicer piece of clothing to wear over a tank top, over a blouse, over a bikini um, and yeah I just wanted to offer you both sewing patterns so you can choose whichever one you want to make and in my opinion the Alicia blouse is easier to make so maybe if you're new to sewing start with the Alicia blouse and I'm gonna be using this super beautiful textured linen fabric I got mine from Potter & Co. It's like the fabric is called Lexi in the color ivory and I love it so much. I think really it's such a beautiful fabric. And then I got some matching sewing thread in the color 111 um, from Gutermann just because the regular white is too white for this fabric and this color 111 has like more of a cream tone to it which fits perfectly. And I'm gonna link the sewing pattern for it below and I'm also gonna link how you can print out the sewing pattern and how to put the pages together. And for today's project I'm gonna be using my normal sewing machine but I'm also gonna be using my overlock machine. But if you don't have an overlock machine that's okay, you don't really need it, you can just use your normal sewing machine and every time I'm using my overlock just set your normal sewing machine to a zigzag option to go over the edges just to avoid them from fraying and then we also need because we need to make two long straps so you need to get a loop turner and you also need to get a safety pin well you don't like either or like either you have a loop turner or a safety pin um, then you need to have your measuring tape fabric scissors needles to pin the fabric together and yeah anything else I'm yeah so I'm gonna be making mine out of this crinkled linen I've made it before out of muslin cotton oops which was super beautiful I've also made it out of normal cotton maybe I can insert some photos here um, and I you can also use normal linen that's not crinkled like this and basically you can use whatever fabric you want to use but I've personally only used linen cotton muslin cotton so those would also be my recommendations for you and yeah I think we should start cutting out our fabric now so we can start sewing so let's go Before we start sewing now I want to make sure we all have the same amount of pieces so we need two times the straps then we need the back facing then we need to have the front cut out four times I always cut two at a time just because sometimes I feel like four layers of fabric is a bit too much and I also need to get my um, scissors sharpened and then we have two times the sleeves and then we have one time the back and because we cut it on fold when we open it up we have the full back piece so the first thing we're going to do now is we take one of our straps then we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to sew with a one centimeter seam allowance away from the folded edge from one end to the other end and yeah just glide with a one centimeter seam allowance away from the folded edge and then we're going to do exactly the same to the other strap fold it in half and then sew with a one centimeter seam allowance away from the folded edge until the end. Okay. 
So this is what our two straps look like now. And before we flip them inside out, we need to cut some of that excess seam allowance off because that's gonna make it easier to flip the other way around. So I'm just gonna cut some of that fabric away. So here's what our straps look like now after we've cut off some of that excess seam allowance and now I'm taking my loop turner and I'm going to push it through one end, stick it through the fabric here, this little thingy. And now we carefully flip it inside out. And here we have our two straps and for now we can just put them to the side and now we're going to focus on the back facing and what we want to do we want to overlock this part here so the curved side that's longer we're just going to overlock So this is what it looks like now and what we want to do now we want to fold the overlocked edge half a centimeter up and then we're just going to start sewing along here all the way along. Now it's time to go over to our iron and we're just going to iron our straps and we're also going to iron the back facing and then it's time to start sewing the front of the top. So here we have our four front pieces and we're just going to put two of them to the side now. And what we want to do now is we want to sew the front of the front together. So we want to sew from here till the end here and on the sewing pattern there was a notch mark which means you should have made a little cut here if you didn't make the cut just get your sewing pattern out again and mark the notch right now because here where the notch is we want to sew in one of the straps So now we want to sew from here till down here and when we come to the strap I would recommend going over it two times just to make sure it's really sewn in correctly. And now I'm just gonna cut off this little bit here. And now we have to do exactly the same to the other front pieces.
And also here I'm just going to cut this little thingy off. And now we want to go back to our iron again and we want to press the seams open and that means we're going to fold this up again and here the seam allowance we're going to press apart and we're going to iron in between here. And next up we take our top and we open it up again and now we're just gonna overlock what we have sewn and pressed open before. The other front piece which is right here, so here's the overlocked seam that you can see. And now we can flip it the right way again. And now we just put the two front pieces to the side and now we focus on the back before we sew the front and the back together. So here we have our back piece and here we have the shoulders and here's the neckline. And now we take our back facing and this part is the good side and here where we can see the overlock thread is the bad side. And what we want to do is we want to put the good side facing the back piece and now we're going to pin it together and we're just going to pin it together here in the curved line so not on the shoulder part. And now we're going to sew along here then we're going to go overlock it and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So here we have the back now and next up we want to sew the seam allowance to the back facing and we're going to do that by having the good side face us and we're going to do a top stitch relatively close to the edge here. So now we want to sew the front and the back pieces together and we're going to do it this. So now we want to sew the front and the back together and we're going to do this in a super nice way. We have the back laying in front of us now and we take one of the front pieces and here we have the good side. So this is what it was before. We open it up again and then with the good side here where we sewed the two pieces together we're going to place it right where the neckline of the back piece starts and then we're going to sandwich the back in between the two front pieces.
So this is what it will look like. I'm just gonna cut this off a bit. And now we're gonna sew from here, from this seam till the edge here. And this is what it will look like from the outside and even from the inside it looks super nice. And now we're going to do the same to the other shoulder. So this is what the Alicia blouse looks like so far. What we need to do next is we need to sew the sleeves on, then we need to overlock it and then we're gonna close the sleeve and at the same time we're gonna close this part and also on the other side. And then we just need to hem the sleeves, hem the top and then we're finished. So now that it's time to attach the sleeves on the sewing pattern when you cut it out, there were some notches marked and on one side there were two notches marked which means that this part you need to sew onto the back piece of the top and then over here there was only one notch marked and that means that this part here will be sewn onto the front. So now we just put the other sleeve away and we focus on one and the first thing we want to do is we want to put our top in front of us with the good side facing us like here where we can see this, this is the bad side and now we have the good side facing us. And it should look something like this. And now we look at our sleeve again, here where the two notches are. We're gonna start pinning that towards the back piece. And at the same time, we can also start pinning the other side of the sleeve towards on the front. Okay, wow, I just pinned a lot of needles in there, <laughs> but that's okay. You don't have to put as many needles in there as I have. But this is what it will look like. And now we're just gonna start sewing on one side all the way to the other side. You could also start here and go this way, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, and then we're gonna do exactly the same to the other sleeve and then we overlock it.
So next up we want to sew the sleeve close and also the side of the top. And what we have to do now, here we have the sleeve and then we have the back and the front here. And we right now have the good side facing us, which is important. And now we're going to fold the sleeve in half. And now the inside of the blouse is facing us and you can see that by the seams here. And first we're going to start lining up the seam here and sticking a needle in it. And now we're going to pin all the way along here and then also here we have the back and here we have the two fronts and we're also going to pin this. So at the end it's going to be pinned from here all the way till the end and then we're going to sew from here to over there. So now that we are almost finished, I would recommend you to try your Alicia blouse on just so you can figure out how long you want your sleeves to be because everyone has different preferences and that's the cool thing about making your own clothes that you can really make it the way you want it to look. And I like my sleeves to be quite long so I'm just going to fold my sleeves up one centimeter and one centimeter again. And then for the overall length of the blouse, I'm gonna fold mine up two centimeters and two centimeters 
again but if you want yours a bit shorter either you could cut some of the fabric off or you're just going to fold yours up let's say three centimeters and then three centimeters or even more and the same goes for the sleeves so i love the way it looks i love the fabric and yeah let's hem the sleeves let's hem the blouse and then we are finished so let's do the last steps so i'm going to start with my sleeves and you need to make sure that the bad side is facing out so the side where you can see the seam is facing you i'm just going to cut the thread off and now however wide you want your hem to be fold your fabric up once and then fold it up again and then pin it with a needle in place So now I did the same that we did to the sleeve, I did it to the end of my blouse and we're just going to start sewing here until the other end.
And that's it for today's sewing tutorial. Thank you so much if you have purchased a sewing pattern. It really means so, so, so much to me. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send me a message on Instagram, write me an email. I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm just getting, like, because my Instagram is growing a lot lately, I'm getting so many messages and sometimes it takes me a day or two to get back to you. Um, because sometimes I also just need to have a break from my phone for half a day or something. But I promise you I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And let me know if you have any questions. And also let me know if there's any other pieces you want me to release a sewing pattern for and make a YouTube tutorial for. And yeah, I hope I see you at my next video. And in a few seconds I'm going to show you what my Alicia blouse looks like worn. So see you at my next video. Bye!